one of the more notable improvements you'll find whenever you are sculpting in surface mode in 3D Coat is the improved behavior of the pinch tool. Okay, not only do we have some new options here, but it also essentially works exactly as you would want the pinch tool to work. Previously, it worked fairly well in most cases, but it still was a little bit destructive in the way it would work along the edges. And uh, let me go ahead and try and demonstrate that. I'm going to open up a older version of 3D Coat here. Okay, so what I have here is just a primitive, but I've rounded the edges okay, by smoothing. And let's say you have an object where you you have rounded edges like this or rounded parts and you want to create a, a nice crease along a portion of that model. So I'm in surface mode here and I'm going to use the pinch brush Remove stretching is enabled. I'm going to turn that off. You can see it appears to work fairly well until you look at it from a different vantage point. Again, in most cases this would be fine, but you can see what it's doing is it's rounding off a little bit too much. It's trimming uh, at a certain angle, maybe a 10 degree angle or so on. And what I mean by that is, let's say you want between two angles that converge, you naturally would want the pinch point to be where where they converge right here. Okay, and when you have kind of a rounded edge like this, 3D Coat would pinch right here in the center of the curve, not out here where they can the angles converge here. So let's go back to version 4 as of build 4.0.06. We now have some new tools that are available to us at the top of your toolbar you have the ability to modify the pinch flow. Okay. To default, the pinch will be rather pronounced. As you can see, the horizontal axis uh, equals pressure, and the vertical axis is your pinch degree. Okay, so okay. And so let's say you're working on a face sculpt and one of the typical areas that you're going to want to pinch is here in the lips area. So let's go ahead and you can see it's not too destructive on the outer edges. Now see a little bit, a, a slight bit, but I can remedy that by changing this. I'm going to create a little bit of an S curve. Now I can change the the point type by right clicking. Now I have a hard edge. Right click again and I'll have more of a B spline. And so this is the same thing that you'll find working with the points on a spline in the E panel. You can cycle between the different point types. A weighted point like this. Right click a second time. Now it's right on. Your spline is right on the point with a little bit of curvature. Right click again you'll get a hard edge point. So we're going to go with a weighted point. I'll click here. Give myself a little bit of an S curve. And OK. I can save or load that curve. So let's try now. Try a different brush. I can also change the strength, the pinch strength, as I am actually brushing. Okay, and that looks great to me um, as far as 
uh, how well the pinch tool works. Okay, now one other thing I want to point out is let's say you want to work here where you're actually trying to work on a indented crease. It looks a bit odd. Okay, and that's because of the incidence angle. Let's undo that. When you're working on a, a crease such as the commissural line here, you can hold the control key Okay, or check invert tool action and now when you pinch notice it comes out quite lovely just like you would expect it to okay so that will conclude this demonstration of the improved pinch brush in 3d coat and remember if you find these videos even remotely helpful please make sure to click on the like button that gives us some indication that they indeed are so thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.